Well, I think this video might split a few opinions. Guys, welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. I am JB and today we're going to have a look at all things Cardano's ADA. In my opinion, an absolutely fantastic project which I think will be one of the market leaders going into the next bull run. But we're going to have a look at everything here Cardano's ADA, give some reasons behind, you know, some on-chain reasons behind why I think ADA will be one of the best projects in the space. We'll also have a look at the charts across the one hour, the one day and the one week. Have a look what's happened most recently, what's likely to happen next, all of the great things we cover here at Cheeky Crypto. But before we get into the video today, guys, as always, we will ask you to hit that like button, subscribe if you have not already, and tap on the bell, selecting all of the notifications so that you never miss a video coming to you from Cheeky Crypto. Yeah, this one's going to split opinions. I would love to know your comments, um, your thoughts on everything in the comments down below, guys. Leave us a little comment in today's video. But let's start off here down at memberships.cheekycrypto.io where we can have a look at all of the on-chain data for Cardano's ADA. So what we can see when we come here to the landing page, we come to the overview, we can see the all-time high of $3.09. We can see we are 88.56% from that all-time high, which was 797 days ago. We can see the circulating supply of 34,944,800,039 ADA of its total supply of 45 billion. So roughly 80% 80, 80 of its supply is now in circulation. So what we can do is have a look through everything here for ADA. We can see there is 4.4 million ADA addresses, 49,000 were active in the last 24 hours, 40,100 were receiving addresses with 36,300 being sending addresses, 68,424 transactions for ADA in the last 24 hours costing 8,000 US dollars or the equivalent of 23,336 ADA. There were 4,271 blocks added in the last 24 hours, the block height at 9.5 million. So this is obviously just a quick overview of to, as to what's going on here for ADA in the last 24 hours. When we take a look at the wallets, but what, we, what the wallets are telling us is the, the accumulation for ADA has been nothing short of fantastic recently. Obviously we did see sell-offs here across many projects up till around about November 2022. From here we can see this wallet count in particular holding over 100,000 ADA. They have been aggressively accumulating. A small period of sell-off here April 2023. But overall for the year here we can see an 8.5% increase in wallets holding over 100,000 ADA from 22,800 to 24,800. So roughly 2,000 wallets extra here. Wallets holding over 10,000 ADA, well, the story is much the same. We've seen this sell-off period from April, May 2022, and then aggressive accumulation once again, up 21% in the last year from 152,000 ADA wallets to 184,000 ADA wallets holding over 10,000 ADA. Down to the wallet counts holding over 1,000 ADA, well, these guys have never really stopped, have they? Up 26% in the last year from 707,000, where we do see a high here of 891,859 wallets holding over 1,000 ADA. So overall, what we can see is fantastic accumulation over the last year for ADA. Now, these guys, I think, are very smart where we can look at the, the next interesting period here. The total value locked for ADA has been nothing short of sensational. The increase we have seen here, 287% over the last year, from 165.94 million ADA locked up, we now see this sitting at 643 million ADA now locked up. Now we can see, we can take a note here, in the last week we have seen a slight drop off, almost 6%, you know, becoming uh, unlocked here, not um, locked up anymore for ADA but over you know the course let's say back from January 2022 we've seen a massive rise to the upside where we've seen a periods of selling off and you know ADA no longer being staked and such but from here what a fantastic run to the upside we have seen for the amount of ADA that is now locked up we have we have obviously covered this for quite a period of time, guys, and we don't see this one slowing down. I personally can t expect to see this continue to rise to the upside. Ada, I do think, has a fantastic future ahead of it. Now, what we will see many times online, the likes of X and such, people talking about the dollar value that is locked up. When you're in a bear market, when these prices are so low, we can see we are down 88% from its all-time high, currently trading around about 35 cents. You're not looking at the dollar value of the project that is locked up, 
you're looking how many tokens of that project are locked up. So when you see 643, almost 643 and a half million ADA now locked up, this is fantastic going forward. I expect this to increase, potentially another digit coming in front of here going forward, but this metric alone should fill you with confidence, you know, drive that bullish narrative of Cardano's ADA and its potential in the bull market. We will take a quick look at liquidations. For the last 24 hours, $1.1 million worth of ADA positions were liquidated, 55% longs, 44% shorts. Binance with exchange with the highest amount of liquidations, they took out $509 million worth of positions, which obviously equates to 46% of total liquidations for ADA. 60% longs, 40% shorts, the dollar value 300,000 longs, $200,000 shorts. So they're not crazy, they're not mad liquidations in the last 24 hours. Bybit liquidating in the opposite direction, 46% long, 46 longs, 53% shorts, 35% of total liquidations. Then you know the fractions here start to really drop down. OKX taking out 65% longs, 35% shorts, 10% or 11% rather of total ADA liquidations. So overall, liquidations for ADA in the last 24 hours, there's no real anomalies, there's nothing really major going on here. We tend to see this is, you know, this is kind of the lower end of liquidations we do see over a 24 hour period. But it is always prudent to come back and check this out, guys. Catch issues with exchanges before they become issues. Most notably, you know, if you've caught the last few Bitcoin videos I've done, I've had a slight issue here with Bybit, with the heavy liquidations in one direction for Bitcoin and Ethereum in particular. Huobi, I've had an ongoing issue with Huobi. I don't like how they liquidate positions. But overall for today, for Cardano here especially, there's no real anomalies going on with liquidations. But yeah, I wanted to, wanted to cover off everything here going on on-chain for ADA. Especially when we look at this total value locked, what a fantastic monumental run to the upside this has seen. 287% increase in the last year for its TVL, up at 643 million, I think is nothing short of fantastic. Jumping down into the charts for today, where we left this the last time, um, for reference guys, this is ADA paired up with USDT, BitGet is the data source for the one hour chart here. We were looking for that move up in that fifth wave, targeting out 34.9 to 35.4, and we can see that this overextended in this fifth wave, which is absolutely fantastic. Why won't that grab? This is absolutely fantastic to see. We've seen the price push up hitting 37.56 cent. Fantastic to see. And there's a potential for this one to keep on going. However, we can take a note of the structures as they lie. We have already had an overextension in this fifth wave within this overextended fifth wave once again. Overall, we can expect, you know, a bit of a correction to come on for Cardano's era. Now, this move started off down here, where we do see this overall as simply an A, B and C, or a W, X and Y, however as you want to look at this one, a corrective pattern. Moving on here in another five wave move to the upside, giving us the notion that overall, we are just simply looking at this as a three, three, five corrective move to the upside. Whether this, you know, decides to move on further, you know, I think it's going to be a very interesting level. When we look at this current move that is going on, we are finding support once again here on this 50 SMA, giving us the notion that, you know, we are, we're expecting further moves to the upside, the 50 EMA sitting lower, the, the 200 EMA sitting much lower here, down at 33 cent. So we should be looking at this as quite bullish. Volatility is extremely low. The stochastic is absolutely dropping to the floor just now. Where we can take a note of the four hour, the four hour is still looking for further correction to the downside. The eight hour in itself, well once again, this one could go either way. Volatility is still extremely high. The 12 hour, this is still looking to, you know, carry on moving down to the downside. Volatility, once again, is still quite high. And the 16 hour has much more room to the downside to go. Lastly on this one, the 20 hour, yes, we can see here, the 20 hour sitting okay just now, around about 9%, but I do expect that one to continue moving on down. So when we look at this structure for ADA, well, potentially we are in a big correction to the downside here. A retest of that 200 EMA will be very interesting. If we were to look at this, you know, much more zoomed out here, there's no real um, heavy analysis on this one, but we could be targeting out that 31 cent level once again for ADA. But that's not why I'm here for today's video. It's to talk about what's going forward for ADA. Um, before we do leave that one, guys, what I can check out here is a double bottom scenario with that um, fifth wave move to the upside. So we can see another area that is quite interesting. Equilibrium also sitting down here around about 30 cent, as is the midline of this fair value gap. So overall, I am looking for ADA to you know have a bit of a correction to the downside after these fantastic moves up. 
over to the daily chart now. Well, we can see once again, we have broke out of this previous um, retracement area that I have been watching between 30... 29.93 cent and 35.9 cent on this Binance daily chart. But crucially, we have not broke that high. We have over here from the B wave. This B wave high at 37.93 cent is looking to hold strong. We still have this strong high right on here from Smart Money Concepts and we have this weak low. Smart Money Concepts is telling us they do not expect this high to be broken. If it has, then that's perfectly fine. We would have to um, reassess the moves that went on in here that potentially we are in a giant a b and c to the upside which would obviously be the inverse of what it was we were looking at it would be more like this an a b and c but overall telling us that we are just in a bigger b wave to the upside still looking for that c wave to the downside so although structure do seem to be changing um, across many projects recently it still does not take away the narrative that we are still expecting lows to come in whether it's a new bear market low or whether it is a double bottom here at 22 cent i'll leave that for you guys to decide i am still looking at that 18 cent level as a very interesting level for cardano's era i do still expect to see some lower prices the the global economics are not great everything going on is not great and i think that will be the catalyst behind it everything going on with the ftx alameda there's a lot of chatter coming out most recently about the the amount of crypto ready to be sold off getting moved on to exchanges from the likes of ftx and alameda so i do think we have reasons to you know maybe not be overly bullish on the market as a whole there's a lot going on moving up to the the one week chart well once again we have been watching this w x y x and z structure to the downside for cardano's era in this bear market where we can see we were tracking this ABC to the downside, looking at 18 cent to 15 cent. With this push to the upside, once again, not breaking that high of 37.93 cent, we have came up and tested the 50 EMA, where it does look like we are getting rejection here on this weekly chart. The stochastic momentum is, you know, stuck here at 100%, looking for that correction. Volatility is now starting to pick up to the upside. Once we do see this, you know, come on to the upside, then that is when I do think we will see this break on down. So as I previously covered in the last chart, that we may just be in a bigger A, B and C structure like so. We may see this come up and test that 200 EMA here, coming roughly at 44 cent. There is the potential for that. I will not shrug away from that one, but I do still expect to see the prices come on down. A double bottom, yes, is highly likely at 22 cent. But overall, I am still looking at the potential for this one to carry on down, bringing in a new bear market low. But that all seems doom and gloom, guys. I don't want to leave this video on a doom and gloom scenario. Now, first of all, we have all the, the fantastic um, projects that Cardano's era is working on. Midnight, to, just to mention one, would be Midnight. A fantastic opportunity Midnight is going to be. There is also an interview coming out for Midnight from our team over in Dubai. It will come out at 9pm UTC tonight on this channel. You do not want to miss that video. Now, Midnight in itself is going to be a fantastic project. The airdrop for the Dusk token and such, I think, you know, is absolutely fantastic for the community. So that's just one to mention here of the fantastic, you know, projects that Cardano Era is working on, the fantastic ecosystem that is Cardano. So going forward, obviously, we spoke previously about the 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 total value lock continue to increase whilst we are stuck in this bear market and i do expect that to you know carry on through the next bull run smart money concepts on this weekly chart telling us we have a strong high at the previous high for ada back here in august 2021 of $3.10 $3.09 whatever it may have been but overall we can look at ada going forward as very bullish targeting out that $26 level well, yes, we will get screamed at, we will be berated for mentioning $26 Cardano era. But it's a simple um, move that we would obviously see coming up here. If we have seen the low here at $0.22, cent, well, then that pushes us, pushes us up to a $38 Cardano era. Granted, we have some very interesting levels on the way up here. We see the 0 0.5 coming at almost a double top scenario. We see the 618 at $5.32. These are all psychological levels we will see immense selling pressure at. The 702 at $8.22. The 786 at $12.69. The 882 at $20 where I think, you know, we will see unbelievable selling pressure should we see the price come up to these levels. But there is obviously the strong realistic chance, the possibility of Cardano Era being a 100x project. What would it take for it to be a 100x project? Well, it would obviously, if the bear market low is at 22 cent, we will bring this down to here. 
we would obviously be looking at that $22 level, where once again, we have a bit of psychology going on here, the 882 fib level, just shy of there at $20. So it does, you know, fill me with confidence going forward, everything that Cardano Era is working on, the projects, the ecosystem as a whole, obviously the total value locked is absolutely insane for Era, especially, so it does fill me with confidence going forward that Cardano Era has the potential to be that 100x. Let us know your thoughts and your opinions on everything I've covered in today's video. It's just a brief overview of everything going on and why I am bullish on Era. Guys, I will leave it there for today. Before you leave today, smash up that like button, subscribe, tap on the bell. I love it. I appreciate it when you do that for us. Of course, if you're going to trade, please do trade safely. Have a nice tight stop loss. Make some great gains. Stay safe in this space. And until next time, have a very nice day.